Today we're going to read about Sorrow and the Sleepover by Corinne Averis and Susan Farley. Is this Sorrow? Wearing the red stripe top. Sorrow had never had a friend who was just the same, until she met Sage. They liked the same games, sang the same songs, and said the same things at the same time. They even had the same... Stripe on their tails! Can you see Sage and Sorrow? That's Sorrow. That's Sage. Look at the stripe on the tail. It was the luckiest, most perfect thing to share with a friend who's just the same. So Sage invited Sorrow to a sleepover at her house. See, Sage is giving Sorrow her invite at school. Goodbye children, see you tomorrow. It was Sorrow's first night away from home. Mum helped her to pack her little nutshell with all the things she might need. Children, if you go on a sleepover, what would you bring? Would you bring your teddy and your toothbrush and toothpaste? Maybe a towel? Are you nervous? asked Mum. Oh no, said Sorrow. Because Sage and I are just the same. She's picking her pajamas. Sage's hum was woody and wide, solid and strong. There were aunties in the east and nest and cousins in the west. Branches that went on forever, peppered with pine cones and softest green needles. Sorrow was amazed. Sage was so lucky. Sorrow and Sage snuggled up as the sun went down. I can't wait to stay at your house next time, said Sage as they fell asleep. But while Sage snoozed, Sorrow squirmed. Her home was not like this at all. Hmm. She's not sleeping yet. While Sage was snoozing already. Sorrow's home was small and slim. Its branches were broken and bumpy. And it wobbled in the wind. There were no uncles, no grandmas, no brothers or sisters. Just Sorrow and her mummy. She decided not to invite Sage to a sleepover at her house. Best friends don't have differences, thought Sorrow. She wanted Sage to think they were just the same. But Sage didn't forget about the sleepover easily. She even packed her nutshell. Sorrow had to make up excuses. Oh, we can't have a sleepover at my house because, um, because my mum's very poorly. She ate a bad nut. It made her face go green and her nose go red. She needs peace and quiet while she stays in bed. Um, because two dozen cousins are coming to stay. Their backs, shoes and coats take up so much space. There's no room to have friends at our place. 
and because our root pipe burst yesterday, the plumber said it would take days to repair. You can't stay over. There's water everywhere. And Ducky, and Teddy in the saucepan. Oh no! What a disaster! We can't have a sleepover at my tree because, because sighed Sage, because we've painted it pink. It took us all day, so the leaves are too wet for an overnight stay. Pink," said Sage. "Um, yes," replied Sorrow. "Yep, I painted it everywhere." One day, Sage and Sorrow were playing hide and seek when a breeze brought a flutter of pink petals their way. "Pink, let's follow them," said Sage. Scampering towards the single pink tree, this must be your home. It's so beautiful. Sorrow was shocked. Oh no! Don't run there yet. Sage didn't notice that the branches were broken and bumpy, or that it wobbled in the wind. Her mum invited Sage to stay for tea. Your pink paint is perfect," said Sage. "Paint," said Sorrow's mum. "Our cherry tree always grows pink blossom." Sorrow had some explaining to do. "I'm sorry, I lied," she said. "I thought if you came to my tree and saw it was so different to yours, you wouldn't be my friend." It doesn't matter. That is not the same," laughed Sage. "You're so lucky to be different, Sorrow. I don't know anyone who sleeps in pink clouds. Oh, they even have pink drinks. Will they be cherry blossom drinks? That night." Sorrow and Sage enjoyed the best sleepover yet in a cherry blossom bed, sharing the same blanket, watching the same petals. They were the friendliest of friends. As Sage snoozed, Sorrow smiled. It was the luckiest, most perfect thing to share something different with a friend who says the same. And I hope you enjoy the story. Sarah and Sage like the same games, sing the same songs, and even have the same stripe on their tails. That's why they are best friends, isn't it? Do you have a best friend? Are you and your best friend just the same, or there are a little differences? Maybe your voices are different. Maybe your backs are different. Or could be the same. But you guys are still best friends, right? I hope you enjoy the story. See you next time. Bye bye.